there are two completely separate issues at play in these cases. And sometimes they get conflated together, much to uh, a lot of people's confusion. There is the privilege. There is also reporting requirements. And those are completely separate. And sometimes they're in completely separate statutes. Now, the privilege is ironclad in the state of Utah. This is under Chapter 2, Witnesses, Sub 3. A clergyman or priest cannot, cannot, without the consent of the person making the confession, be examined as to any confession made to him in his professional character in the course of discipline enjoined by the church to which he belongs, period. And that's the end of the privilege. And this is number three, because there's all the other privileges in here, attorney, client, husband, wife, privilege, physician, patient, privilege, all the different privileges are there. But the reporting requirement is something completely different. And it's not mentioned there. So for instance, like in Arizona, where they have the same privilege, a bishop is allowed to contact law enforcement and report what it is that was just confessed to him, but that that's a reporting issue. It's not a testifying issue at court later on if it comes to court, because you can have both those things existing at the same time, and they do apparently in Arizona. It's not that uncommon that a bishop can report or a priest can report what is told to him in confession if it is that bad. It's up to them as to whether they make that. They have that option. But just because they report it and can report it to police doesn't mean that they can then testify about it at trial without the consent of the person making the confession.